Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Woken, not Broken, Woken Matt Hardy gimmick. Subsequently though, already being broken. If you guys missed it, Matt Hardy has made a return, finally to his very popular Broken character. Only problem is, it was his bed that broke and subsequently woken him up. Unfortunately, Matt seems to have woken but the rest of us may be still falling asleep. Matt's begun a feud with none other than Bray Wyatt, which is a feud that has an extraordinary ceiling in my opinion, if done correctly. WWE seems to want to put Bray's strange, creepy character up against the other side of the spectrum. Matt's out of this world woken persona. Just a couple weeks in, I already see some very similar promos between him and Matt Hardy two weeks in a row. Now we're only two weeks in, so it's not time to start panicking or anything else like that yet, but I felt like I watched the same thing two weeks in a row. I hear WWE is giving Matt Hardy some creative freedom, which is great because he was the architect of his original great character. Now, am I the only one that's bothered by the fact that Matt's cutting a promo behind his bright blue lit room? It's, I feel like I'm watching a scary movie with the lights on and with my parents. The second week of his return, we've seen the broken I keep calling it broken and it's woken. We see the woken cutscene where the screen breaks and shows Matt. It's pretty much just like what Bray Wyatt does with his little cutscene and then it shows him or that little cutscene before he exits the ring and they cut to a commercial or something. You guys know what I'm talking about, that little cutscene right there. That's my one concern with this whole gimmick coming back is could it become stale and overplayed? Are things too similar? They're going to be looking like they was too repetitive. If the WWE Universe finds the gimmick to get a little too repetitive and it has that cheap spinoff like feel to it. I mean, I mean, I don't need none of this Florida Bama shore nonsense, Vince. I really hope this works out for Matt, though. Depending on how long the leash is for Matt Hardy, I feel like he has the ability to make this Woken character work very well. It better work well real quick, though because without the broken character, Matt Hardy is nothing more than a mid-carter in Vince McMahon's eyes. This very well could be Matt's last chance to re-grasp the top of the wrestling universe mountain. I hope he can do it. I'd like to know what you guys are thinking. We'll find out more hopefully tonight on Monday Night Raw. Hopefully, we get a little bit more excitement from this character. As always, guys, I want to know what you're thinking about the whole Woken Matt Hardy character as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.